Uh, I think a couple of things. We started very well. Uh, we took the lead. We were in control of the game. I think one of the challenges we need to mature through is that when we are in the lead, we still have to work as hard to maintain the lead and put the game out of sight. And we didn't do that tonight. We had opportunities to put the game to bed early. And we took a couple of plays off at an individual level and that cost us um, some mistakes in the game that led to goals that they scored. So uh, the game was there for the taking. We did very well in a lot of phases, but, but the game should have been put to bed a lot earlier. So. Injuries have led to a few of uh, your younger guys getting a lot of time this season. Uh, what has really impressed you about guys like Antonio Sanchez, Scott Misselhorn, and some other um, freshmen that have been playing more minutes for you? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's their fearlessness. You know, they come into the game, they want to play, um, they, they learn from the mistakes, they don't worry about them. So uh, they're not afraid to go in and put themselves in uncomfortable situations and learn from it. And you see that from the performances, they've been, they've been impressive as freshmen. Um, so yeah, I'd say their fearlessness, their willingness to go in and do some of the difficult things and not worry about the mistakes. Uh, and then their ability to bounce back from mistakes quickly and learn from them. So it's been really positive. Two conference games left uh, at Bradley and then back here, Central Arkansas, a week mm -hmm. from the day. What are you going to have to do to get the points? Uh, Bradley will be a different game to tonight. You know, we played them just over a week ago. Uh, they have a different approach to the game and so we'll uh, we'll set up slightly different against Bradley the way we did tonight. Um, we should get the result. You know, we're good enough to get the result. Our performances have dictated we should be getting results. So, I think in many cases it's making sure that these little individual errors that are leading to consequences and results, we eliminate those. And that, that means getting back to the training field, getting better at an individual level, so that collectively we're getting the results we should be getting. So.